Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to solve questions based on parallel vectors. Let's get started. Parallel vectors. If the vectors are parallel to each other, that means suppose we have the vector P and this is the vector Q and they are both are in the same direction. So parallel vector doesn't mean that the length of the vectors is same. So the length may be different. So in this case, the vector P is longer than the vector Q. So if we can write down the vector P as some multiplication of some constant with vector Q, so we can find out the parallel vector and we can easily find out the length of the vector P. So the value of the K will be positive. Then only the vectors are parallel to each other. If the value of k is negative, then the vectors are in the opposite direction and they are non-parallel. Non-zero vectors a and b are non-parallel, then we, if we are equating them, lambda times a is equal to mu times b, then we can simply say that lambda times a is equal to zero and mu times b is equal to zero. So they will give you lambda is equal to zero and mu is equal to zero. So if we have like p vector a, plus q vector b is equal to r vector a plus s vector b. So I can equate from left hand side and right hand side the vectors a and b separately. If I equate the vector a, I will be getting p is equal to r. And if I equate the vector b, I will be getting q is equal to s. Now let's see one example here. Given that the non-zero vectors a and b are non-parallel and that 3a plus t times of 2a minus 3b is equal to a plus b plus s times of a plus 2b. Find the value of t and s. Now they say that they both vectors are equal to each other. Now here we can see that the vector a is here also and the vector a is here also. Here on the right hand side vector a and a, b and b. So first I need to combine the vectors a and b. So we will write it 3a plus open the bracket 2t vector a minus 3t vector b is equal to vector a plus vector b plus open the bracket s vector a plus 2 times of s vector b. Now from here the vector a is common. Let's take the common vector a. You are left with 3 plus 2t minus 3tb is equal to from here vector a is common. So A is common, you are left with 1 plus S. From here B is common. So vector B, you are left with 1 plus 2 S. Now I can equate left hand side and right hand side the vectors A and B separately. Let's think that I am equating the vector A. So what I will get? I will get 3 plus 2 T is equal to 1 plus S. This is my first equation. If I equate the vectors B, I will get minus 3t is equal to 1 plus 2s. This is my second equation. Now move this s on left hand side. We can write down 2t minus s plus 3 is equal to 1. Now move this 3 on right hand side. This will be 2t minus s is equal to 1 minus 3. So it will be 2t minus s is equal to minus 2. This is your third equation. Now move this minus 3t on right hand side it will be 1 plus 2 s plus 3 t is equal to 0 now move this one on right hand side it will be 2 s plus 3 t is equal to minus 1 this is my fourth equation now as we can see that here the coefficient of s is 2 and here the coefficient of s is minus 1 so what i am going to do i am multiplying the equation 3, I will multiply that to 2. So, we will get 2t minus s is equal to minus 2 is multiplied by 2. So, I will get 4t minus 2s is equal to minus 4. So, this is my fifth equation. Now, I will write down my equation number 4 below the equation number 5. So, it will be 3t plus 2s is equal to minus 1. So, as we can see that the signs of the s are different. I can simply cancel them out. 
so 4t plus 3t is equal to 7t is equal to minus 5 so t is equal to minus 5 by 7 this is the value for t now we are substituting the value of t in equation number 3 so we will get 2 times of minus 5 by 7 minus s is equal to minus 2 so it will be minus 10 over 7 minus s is equal to minus 2 now move this minus 10 over 7 on right hand side it will be minus s is equal to minus 2 plus 10 over 7 now take the lcm on right hand side it will be 7 minus 14 plus 10 so minus s is equal to minus 4 over 7 so minus will got cancelled from here and your value of s is equal to 4 over 7 this is the value for s let's see one more example two non-zero vectors a and b are non-parallel if 2a plus t times of a minus b and 2b plus a plus t b are parallel find the value of t now they says that this vector and this vector are parallel to each other now we will apply the parallel vector condition 2a plus t times of vector a minus b is equal to k times of 2b plus a plus t b now i will open the bracket first 2a plus t a minus t b is equal to 2 k b plus k a plus t k b vector as we can see that there are vector a and vector a so the vector a is common from here so you are left with 2 plus t minus t b is equal to from here the vector b is common so the vector b you are left with 2 k plus tk plus k times of vector a now we can equate from right hand side and right left hand side we can equate the vectors a and b separately if i equate the vector a i'll be getting 2 plus t is equal to k this is my first equation now if i equate the vector b i'll be getting minus t is equal to 2k plus t k this is my second equation now i am substituting the value of k from 1 to the equation number 2 so let's substitute the value i will be getting minus t is equal to 2k k is what k is 2 plus t plus t times of k is 2 plus t now let's open the bracket first minus t is equal to 4 plus 2t plus 2t plus t square so my take minus t on right hand side it will be 4 plus 2t plus 2t is 4t plus t square plus t is equal to 0 now let's rearrange this equation first t square plus 4t plus t plus 4 is equal to 0 so from here t is common you are left with t plus 4 from here 1 is common so you are left with t plus 4 and your factors will be t plus 4 and t plus 1 is equal to 0. So this will be given by t is equal to minus 4 and minus 1. So these are two values for t you are getting it out. Now I need to cross check my answer whether both the values are giving me parallel vectors or not. So how we are going to do that? We are going to substitute both the values in the given equations. So we have this is the my first equation. This is my second equation. And I am going to substitute t is equal to minus 4. So let's substitute the value here. 2a plus of minus 4 vector a minus vector b. So it will be 2a minus 4a and then it will be plus 4b. So if I solve this, it will be minus 2a plus 4b. So from here, if minus 2 is common, you are left with a minus 2b vector. Now, if I substitute here on right hand side, it will be 2b plus a plus of minus 4b. So if I solve it, it will be 2b plus a minus 4b. So if I solve b, it will be minus 2b plus 
a so if i rewrite this again it will be a minus 2 b as you can see that both the vectors are same but here the coefficient k is negative 2 so we have learned that if the value of k is negative that means they are in the opposite direction and they are non parallel so this is not my answer let's substitute the value t is equal to minus 1 in both the equations so 2a plus of minus 1 vector a minus b 2a minus a plus b so if i solve this this will be vector a plus vector b now let's substitute in second equation it will be 2b plus a plus minus 1 into vector b so if you open that that will be 2 vector b plus a minus b so if i solve this this will be b plus a vector so these two vectors are same and here the coefficient of k is 1 which is positive that means the vectors are parallel to each other that means my value for t is equal to minus 1 this will be your final answer let's see one more example find the relationship between p and q if the vectors p q in the form of a column vector minus 3 5 in the form of a column vector is parallel to 3 one now he is saying that this vector is parallel to this vector first i need to write down this vector as a single term so we will write down p q minus of 3 5 will be written as p minus 3 q minus 5 as a single vector now this vector and 3 1 are parallel to each other so i will apply the condition here p minus 3 q minus 5 is equal to k times of 3 1 so it will be p minus 3 q minus 5 is equal to 3 k and k now i can equate the i and j vector separately if i equate the i vector i'll be getting p minus 3 is equal to 3 k this is my first equation if i equate the j vector i'll be getting q minus 5 is equal to k so this is my second equation now i'm substituting the value of k from equation number 2 to equation number 1 so that will be 2 to equation number 1 i am substituting let's substitute the value here so p minus 3 is equal to 3 times of k k is equal to q minus 5 let's open the bracket on right hand side it will be 3q minus 15 so move this minus 3 on right hand side it will be p is equal to 3q minus 15 plus 3 so p is equal to 3q minus 12 this will be your answer for the relationship between p and q let's see one more example the position vectors of the point a and b are the vector small a is equal to 2 minus 1 and b small b vector is equal to minus 1 2 respectively relative to an origin o given that ap vector is equal to lambda times of ab vector express the position vector of p in terms of lambda find the value of lambda such that op is parallel to 3 2 now the position vector of a so oa vector is given to us as 2 minus 1 which will be small a vector and the position vector of b is given to us as minus 1 2 which is small b vector and they have also given us ap is equal to lambda times of ab now i will use this condition to find out the position vector of p so let's write ap and ab in the form of a position vector form so ap will be written as op minus of oa is equal to lambda times of ab vector will be written as ob minus of vector oa now move this vector oa on right hand side it will be op is equal to vector oa plus open the bracket here lambda times of ob minus lambda times of oa vector now let's combine the oa vector first so that will be oa vector you are left with 1 minus lambda plus lambda times ob vector now let's substitute the values for oa and ob oa is 2 minus 1 multiplied by 1 minus lambda 
plus lambda times OB. OB is minus 1, 2. Now let's multiply that. It will be 2 bracket 1 minus lambda minus 1 bracket 1 minus lambda plus minus lambda 2 lambda. So if I open the bracket inside that, it will be 2 minus of 2 lambda minus 1 plus lambda plus minus lambda 2 lambda. So I need to add that. That will be 2 minus 2 lambda minus lambda minus 1 plus lambda plus 2 lambda. So that will be equal to 2 minus of 3 lambda minus 1 plus 3 lambda. So if I rearrange that, that will be equal to 2 minus 3 lambda, 3 lambda minus 1. This will be the answer for the position vector of P. Now they say that this vector P is parallel to 3, 2. Now let's apply the condition here. 2 minus 3 lambda, 3 lambda minus 1 is equal to K times of 3, 2. So 2 minus 3 lambda, 3 lambda minus 1 will be equal to 3k and 2k. Now I can equate the i and j vector separately. Let's equate the i vector first. I will be getting 2 minus 3 lambda is equal to 3k. This is my first equation. 3 lambda minus 1 is equal to 2k. This is my second equation. Now as we can see that the coefficient of lambda here in the, both the equations is the same. I will write down below the equations of each other. So it will be 2 minus 3 lambda is equal to 3k and then it will be minus 1 plus 3 lambda is equal to 2k. Now I will simply cancel that and 2 minus 1 is 1 is equal to 5k. So the value for k is equal to 1 over 5. Now let's substitute the value of k in equation number 1. So it will be 2 minus 3 lambda is equal to 3 times of 1 by 5. So it will be 2 minus 3 lambda is equal to 3 over 5. Move this 2 on right hand side. It will be minus 3 lambda is equal to 3 over 5 minus 2. Let's take the LCM on right hand side. It will be 5. 3 minus 10. So minus 3 lambda is equal to minus 7 over 5. So minus will got cancelled from here. If you do the cross multiplication on this side, lambda will be equal to 7 over 15. That will be the answer for lambda. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my video. Don't forget to like, subscribe and leave a comment down below. Bye bye everyone.